Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today is something that I was totally expecting to do either way of results, but today we're talking about what really happened to my friend slash girlfriend. So, I've been through many relationships I'm sorry, I just woke up, but I got ready. I've been through many relationships or many friendships, and really none of them have made me sad after I um, left someone or something, like a friend. First of all, I already have First of all, I already have a bunch of phone numbers of my old friends that are still friends to me. And I was only um, a friend with this friend. So, um, her name is Anne. Technically, she's my girlfriend. Not like that, but, you know. And... She... just broke up with me. No, I'm just kidding. She broke us up with me like weeks ago. So I have my phone right here. I'm going to pull up the text. I don't know why it was so nice to her. But the last text um, she sent to me was that one right there. So Wow, it's just so weird. So, I know it wasn't because she was going through any time period of teenage years or period, literally, but um, it's, she said, I don't know, I know we always joked around and I said things, but this was not something that I was used to. Almost like the devil transformed her. I don't know. So, so she said, um, I said, hi. And then she said, Ezra, it's 9-11. I said, what about it? It's 9-11. I said, I'm landing a plane. And it's a flight. So just a sec. Is it into a building? Because it's 9-11. Man, what the hell? No, at an airport. 
That right there is how we broke up. I didn't say sorry or anything just because I was confused and I wasn't used to her saying that. But I just continued texting her other, like, subjects. So that right there is what broke up our relationship and friendship. You can clearly see the text. I know it's still reflection. I cannot roll down the blinds yet because I'll need help from my parents because the stupid. I know whoever was lived here before cared about their kids, but they did not like. So they had the thing in their power outlets because they had baby. And you know that's to protect them. They put metal things on the like holders on the blinds so they can't fall. And then like super glued the door. Super glued the other door so it can hurt them. Not super glued, but I don't know what they did. Because it's so weird. But that's what happened. And I was, I almost felt annoyed that I said that, but I wasn't annoyed because I've never heard that say, saying of her before. So I asked my friend to go see if he can talk to her on the first day of school. I originally said, oh, you can go on this day to go see if you can go to her house. You know, but um, he said, the air quality is really bad. I'll do it on the first day of school. He asked her, and I, she said, yes, she got a new phone. But I didn't get a chance for her to add, to add her, add your phone number to her phone. And I was really happy, you know, but I shouldn't have been because the next day I called him and I said, you know what, I'll just call him some other day, you know, I don't really worry about it much. And then he called me back in a few minutes and I said, hello. And I said, so did he give Ann a number? And he said, no, sorry, because she said that she got a new phone because she didn't want your number. So I don't know who spent the money for the phone, but Before her dad called, no. So before her dad um, banned her from being able to call me because her brother was getting left out. It wasn't even his conversation business, but calling a friend on the phone is not what happened. I'm not saying he was a brat, but maybe he should have gave her a choice. But I'm not sad for her. I don't get why people are sad for people in, like, love stories or movies. Like, one that her girlfriend breaks up with him. 
Oh, and by the way, this here, when I said Anne, what the hell? Not into a building, into an airport, or onto a runway, I guess. Have you heard Ariana Grande's new God is a Woman and the Carpool Karaoke with James Corden? She needs respect. So, what God and a woman mean? God is in. When God is a woman means to her is that in her brain, God is a woman because men are more furious. That's not me. I promise it's not me. If you've ever thought it's me, that's actually pretty offensive to me. But it's fine. Don't worry. I have gone through my bad times. I feel paranoid to go around my parents. That's it. You know. But I can't even say anything back to her that meant what really happened. And okay, I'll never talk to you again. Because I always hear a phone number. Say, I don't know why I haven't deleted her number yet, but um, there's other things. So, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're ever in a situation, just get over it. And make sure you can prevent the situation if you can. Okay, so uh, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you hit that notification button, the bell, when you when I release a new video so you can watch it. And subscribe. Comment down below if you subscribe so I know that I have support on this channel. This is my 21st video. But I only have three subscribers. It might. I'm not one of those cringy channels. People might think that. Why is he still doing videos when he only has 21 subscribers? And I watched one of my other friends' videos. And he. Um, and she said. Someone told me I'm going to get zero likes and 500,000 dislikes. That friend makes no sense. That means she's going to get 500,000 views. Because you can't dislike a video just, like, with your mind. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Peace out. Sorry. Peace out.